Hi guys, so I've been watching quite a lot of YouTubers that do kit bashing and scratch bashing and one video that quite a few of them have done is a Warhammer 40k water gun terrain challenge. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this one. So I went to my usual place for buying stuff and that's good old Amazon and bought the cheapest water gun I could find. Normally when you buy cheap stuff from Amazon what you receive is generally a lot smaller than it looks in the picture. So I spent £5 on my water gun and was expecting something teeny tiny. But no, this turned up. As you can see, it's huge and only just about fits on my desk. So it's definitely got a lot of potential, this gun, as there's lots of bits on it and round bits and nurgly bits and, well, just bits. So the first thing to do really is to take bits apart, cut bits up, and then see what I've got to play with. So I think this water bottle is going to make up the main part of the build. So the screws all over, so I'm going to try and undo all of those and see if I can get bits apart without breaking anything. So a lot of it's coming apart nicely, but there's a few parts I just can't get out. So this is where I'm going to use a little hacksaw and basically cut it up. As this gun is pretty huge and there's so much stuff here, I probably won't need all of this. And anything I don't use in this little build, I'll put away so I can use for future builds. As I'm now getting in the habit of not throwing anything away, just in case something may become useful later on. So the plastic's quite thin in some areas, so some of it I think I can just cut with my little snips. So the main part of this build is going to centre around this green water bottle and then it's just a case of trying to work out what bits work well and where they can go. So other than using the water gun in this video, I will also obviously be using some glue and some paint later on. So most bits will be glued using the hot glue gun as this is the quickest and cheapest way of doing this. So I'm not really too sure what this build is going to be of but obviously it's going to be something like a water tank, or a fuel tank, or a slime tank, I'm not too sure, but something along those lines. The other reason I like using the glue gun for these kind of builds is when you can see the glue spilling out the sides of things, when it's finally painted it kind of looks like it's just been welded together, which I think looks pretty cool. So I'm trying to use as much as I can of this water gun, just to add more little effects and bits and pieces onto this build. And if this is going to be some sort of water tank, fuel tank, then it definitely needs more pipes and hoses on it. As this build is meant to represent some sort of metal, I want to put some more rivets on it. But again, I want to keep it in the fact of me just using the water gun to make the build. I'm going to make the rivets from part of the plastic. And to do that, I'm just using the hole punch to punch out little round circles. And there you go, it's a quick easy way of making some rivets. 
and I'm going to use some super glue to glue these on just because it'll be a little bit neater than using the hot glue gun. And then once that's all done I can give it a coat of grey primer. And there we go, it's not looking too bad now. So for the main tank I want it to look copper, so rather than painting this on, because that will take quite a while, I've decided to spray it with a can of copper. And then the other parts are going to be some sort of metal, which is why I'm going to paint them with some rust first, as I want it to look like a rusty metal. And now I'm going to put on this orange rust by dabbing it on with a sponge, just to give it an uneven and irregular texture. So I'm still trying out new ways of making a rust effect, until I find one that I like and it's easy to do. So by all means guys, leave any comments down below on how you do your rust effects, as I like trying out new things. And now I'm going to start to age and weather the copper, first of all just by adding a black wash and then dabbing it with a little cloth just to remove excess bits, just so much of the dark areas stay in the nooks and crannies and in the creases between the metal. So I just keep repeating this process all over the water tank until it's fully covered. So to age the copper some more, so it appears oxidation has occurred, I'm just adding some of this teal colour. So I'm going to paint this primarily in the areas where the black wash is most prominent. And again I'm going to dab it with a tissue just to remove any excess bits and to make it look a bit more uneven and more natural. So I'm pleased with how that's come out, I think it looks pretty aged now. So there's just one last thing to do, and that's to paint over the metal bits just using this grey colour. So I'm using the sponge again, just because I want it to be a bit more uneven and sort of natural looking. And obviously I'm not going to paint the whole thing, as I want some of the rust to still show through. And there we go, that's it all finished. I think it looks pretty cool from something that started off as a plastic water gun. If you guys would like to set me a challenge of making something from something else, that would be great. Leave it in the comments guys. I'd certainly be up for the challenge. If you have enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button and leave some comments below let me know what you thought of this video and what you might want to see me do in the future. Here's another video you can click on to see more of what I do. If you are new here don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell just so you get informed of when my videos come out. If you are able guys it'd be great if you could share this on Twitter, your Facebook page or Facebook group, Discord and Reddit that'd be awesome. Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.